Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is 17 to the 18. Before we start, Gemini, there was a message ironing it out. That's what it is. You're probably fixing something. Maybe it's just a shirt or maybe it's something that you need to be ironing it out. So it can be relationship. We all know what we gotta iron, right? It ain't no French toast. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on then. <laughs> That escalated files. <laughs> That's what's going on with the Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. The lovers. <laughs> First card right away. You know what that means? It means you gotta stay. Stay for the ride over here, gems. What you guys got yourself into? What is it? You love them, they love you, and it's a problem? How is it when two people love each other, there is a problem? I don't get that too. But that's what you have. <laughs> that's that. <not. laughs> love can be so complicated as it is an energy where it creates and it destroys. You know, it creates life and, you know, because it's, it's that kind. It's challenging. So this is that energy here. <sighs> we were conceived in love. We were created in love and that's what it's supposed to be. I'm not sure what happened over here. Strength card can be dealing with a Leo. Mm. Now that's a challenge right there. <laughs> this is that kind of energy where you could be so compassionate and forgiving to the person. You're basically, you can give it all. You can lose yourself to this person. Be careful. Um, the only reason why I'm saying that because the strength card is an energy where, you know, like you, you can tame the beast, like you can tame, you can contain hurt, you can contain pain, you can, you can understand it because you're vibing to the love, you know, the whole selfless love, but that's dangerous, okay? I mean, if you can do it, props to you, mm -hmm. and this involves around waiting, seven of pentacles. Can be this person you've been waiting for, or vice versa, whoever is waiting over here to make a decision. It can be a Sagittarian also that you're dealing with. Choices has to be made. Well, it will come over here because you already see this person how they are in a relationship. How they are in a relationship is there a ch this person is a challenge, okay? So you already know that there's a this person is gonna be trouble. You understand me? You know. You know. Because if you didn't know, you won't be here. You know already. Okay. For some, the challenge is just for you to wait. For others, there's even more to that. Three of Cups. That's there's most more of that. Mm hmm. That's Menage Trois. Menage a Trois. Okay. Self indulgent, you know, can be. Person likes to see other people. You know, they like to talk to other people. Flirtatious can be. Mm hmm. And you're just looking at it, it's just like, yeah, you can flirt with all those side pieces, but this is just one piece. They're the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're you're the first card. That's why you're coming in strong. You lost this partner already. Okay. Don't ask me why, but I see it. You already lost them. Okay. Let me see here. Seven of Wands and you can wait for them, but the thing is, it's like if you if they make you wait, you stop them also. You block them off. Seven of Wands over there. Restrictions comes, you know, it's like don't come near me. I have a restraining order for you, and it's waiting out the door. You've been summoned. Basically, that's what it is also here. Um, told you, went brutal. Okay. Because you're drawing the line over here, the limit. You're setting up boundaries, even even to this person's energy if they make you wait. Yes, they do make you happy with the Three of Cups. Yes, there can be a reunion with the, with, the, with the Three of Cups. But with the Seven of Wands, someone is hindering it from happening. Okay, both of you are. So one is a Seven of Wands, the other person is a Nine of Wands. So there's going to be a blaming game here. I don't want to deal with you because you made me wait. I don't want to deal with you because you are blocking me. So then who's talking here? <laughs> I don't think anybody's talking because both have their walls up. Okay, it ain't no border, so I don't know why you know why we're talking about walls over here. We shouldn't even have walls, you know. The planet was created with no walls. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> it's a one piece of mass. Let's not even go to flat Earth, okay? <laughs> but with a nine of wands energy here, 
Okay. They have aggression. Aggression to their siblings. Aggression to their kids. Aggression to the way that they communicate. And they're trying to control it. During this time, it's going to be very tricky to communicate with this person as they have. They will lash out to you. Trust me, this person will lash out. Their ego is at its prime. If it's Amazon, it's been delivered. Okay? Now, however, with you here, you feel that, you know, one, the bond between you and this person can be a Taurus also. They have something Taurus in their chart. Um, or Libra. Um, don't ask me why. Okay. Um, but it's about, you know, you having Taurus and Libra here. It's tr You're trying to control something that you want to create balance, okay, by restricting yourself from mixing with their energy, no matter how good the, the connection is. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Gemini. All right? So that's, uh, that's going to be it. And next to this is going to be the snippets. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and stay tuned. Bye. It's you. The sun card. Oh, wow. You are DC. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sad because it's not, this is not on YouTube because only with a few. Whatever you think that is not to do your liking is a devil card. So don't hate me. Okay, you're K2 over here. See, what will fulfill you is not what you think will fulfill you. Because this is Mr. Right. Okay, Mr. Right over here. The star card. Wishing upon the star. Told you. 